بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد What happened in Boston the Boston bombers and what happened recently in the UK are things that anger the Muslim community. Muslims, we distance ourselves from those wanton, senseless acts of violence. Muslims deplore those acts of violence as equally, if not more than anyone else. Not only are we affected, sometimes physically, by those foolish acts from foolish individuals, with false ideologies, but at the same time, we experience repercussions and backlashes when we are minority communities. For example, in America and the UK and Canada and throughout Europe. And what we learn from this terrible tragedy or these tragedies is we learn that yes, there are extremist elements in the community. Extremism means that they go beyond the bounds, meaning that they go outside of the bounds and limits that Islam has prescribed. That when they are doing those senseless acts of violence and propagating false extremist ideologies, that those ideologies have nothing to do with Islam. Those acts of violence have nothing to do with Islam. Foolishness, ignorance, terrorism, has nothing to do with Islam. But they are representing themselves in their own evil. And in addition to deploring those acts, it is upon us to begin to rethink the education of our communities. That we have to call the Muslims back in the Muslim communities and the Muslim communities everywhere back to the pristine beauty of Islam, which is in the Quran and which is in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's already intrinsic to Islam. We don't need any other additional ideologies or any other philosophical thoughts or any other ways. Can look to the salaf of this group of those who received the righteous predecessors and how they practiced and how they prohibited and avoided extremism at all costs and how they hated and how they propagated Islam in the beautiful manners that Islam calls us to. So we have to begin to rethink and look at how we're educating our communities. Are we leaving our youth and leaving the new Muslims to, be, to fend for themselves and to be fed upon by extremist elements? Or are we taking up the role that we're supposed to be, that Allah gave us to, to teach them the correct understanding of the religion? Are we calling our youth to that which is righteous and good manners and morals? Or are we leaving them prey to the wolves, the wolves of extremism, the wolves of hatred, the wolves that foment hate between us and other communities? That's what we have to begin to ask ourselves and reassess and begin to educate ourselves and our families and our communities. And this brings to mind a beautiful narration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said that when the heart is clean then everything will be healthy and clean but when the heart is sick then everything else will be sick and here he was letting us know Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we have to begin to take the hearts of our community. The hearts have to be established based on God's fearfulness and righteousness.
not an extremist ex extremism and hatred and those things which will only cause us more harm and more hatred and more violence and more enmity between us and others but rather we have to begin to come back to those strong and beautiful islamic values that allah the almighty has given us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Our purpose is to worship Allah. So ask yourself, when you're a part of violent groups and extremism and so forth, how are you fulfilling your purpose? Are you fulfilling your purpose or what God wants from you? What Allah, the Almighty, wants from you? Ask yourself about that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.